Hi there, Psycho enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd like to continue talking about Psycho def Data Definition Templates and talk to you about customizing Psycho System Data Definition Templates. And the best practice for that is try not to do that as much as possible. Psycho System Data definition templates are used by Sitecore either to expose certain functionality to us as, as developers to for custom website development, or these are the templates that are used for Sitecore functionality. They either define Sitecore template settings, configuration, and or the content structure. So what's the problem with editing those templates directly? Well, obviously maintenance overhead, right? If uh, by Modifying those templates and accessing those templates with our code, we're creating a dependency on Sitecore. If Sitecore decides to come out with an update that changes that template, well, our code is not going to work anymore. We're going to have a bad time. <laughs> so there are a couple ways uh, we can avoid that. So first, try to avoid customizing system templates as much as possible. And of course, when we have to explicitly modify Sitecore's functionality, there is no way around that and that's okay. However, in some cases, especially in the cases where Sitecore exposes system templates for our use for custom website development, it's always best to either duplicate those and use the new templates or create a custom template and inherit the system template from that and then overwrite or add extra fields to it. Just like you would do in code, right? As a developer, you would never go in and decompile a class and try to rewrite the code. You would, let's say for a processor, you would inherit that and add some additional functionality or overwrite the virtual members, right? Same idea. So there are a couple of use cases I'd like to talk to you about here that I run into most frequently is using or modifying the reach text editor field profiles and customizing media item templates. So for the reach text editor profile, as we all know, we can specify one, uh, one of the four reach text editor profiles. So the default profile, which is the minimum, the medium, which adds uh, extra buttons to it, IDE with some putting buttons on top of that, and then the full profile, which is all the buttons under the sun, all the functionality that the reach text editor support is included in that profile. So what I suggest doing is instead of pointing the source path for the rich text editor field to one of the default profiles, you want to duplicate one of the profiles that matches your requirements the most and point your source to that instead. So that way when Sacro decides to do an update or some modifications to one of the default profiles on the next update or patch, that's not gonna affect your implementation. And your code that was perhaps referencing some of the custom functionality that your um, new custom profile supports now is will still work because again our custom profile is not affected by Sitecore. For media, very frequently I, I get questions about customizing media items. Hey, can we store this data or can we relate this media item to another media item? And very frequently developers try to customize existing system media item templates. However, a better way of doing that, preferred, a recommended approach, would be to create a, uh, your own custom template, inherit the system, let's say JPEG template version that's used by Sitecore, and then add custom fields to that template. Again, if Sitecore decides to come out with a patch that modifies the JPEG version template, our code will still work because our code is referencing our custom template. And if Sitecore decides to go as far as modifying the template altogether, removing it or maybe sw switching the ID, all we have to do is just inherit that new template for the media item from our custom template and we should still be good to go. So let's take a look at how we can actually do that in Sitecore. So what I have here is a Sitecore 8.1 update 2. And first we'll look at creating a custom Rich Text Editor profile. We'll go ahead and switch to the core database. If you notice that here in the bottom right corner, I checked to show the database name. It's a nice little tip. It helps you uh, with keeping uh, keeping track of the context database. 
Now, if I remember correctly, the profiles are located under System Settings, HTML Editor Profiles. And there they are. Here, here are our four default profiles. So let's say the requirements for our rich text editor profile for our custom website solution. Uh, let's, let's call it Cars. A website about cars fits the full profile the most. So what we're going to do is duplicate the full profile and we'll name it cars rich text full. So this will be our custom rich text editor profile and there it is. So now in our custom data definition templates for our cars website for rich text editor fields instead of pointing to the full rich text full profile we're going to point the source field to our custom cars rich text full profile okay now let's take a look at media items let's go ahead and switch over to the master database and let's say we want to add an extra field to our media template our JPEG let's say version template uh, of uh, where we can specify related media items, right? So for instance, where we can specify related images. Let's go ahead and uh, create our custom solution template. Again, remember the separation of concerns and keeping, um, you want to keep your content organized at all times. And what we'll do is create a new template and we'll call it cars JPEG. Now, Notice here, instead of inheriting from the base standard template, what we want to do is actually inherit from the system JPEG template instead. And I'm, that template is going to be under system media. We said it's versioned. And there is JPEG. Click next, next, and we'll create our custom template. We'll go ahead and give it a section name, cars, and say, this is related media and give it a an extended tree list my favorite field type it's probably back from the older site core days um, and we should be good to go now let's go ahead and create standard values now of course you want to dress it up and give it a custom icon just like I mentioned in my other uh, previous videos presentation is very important for usability and if we look at the standard values, we notice that we now have the car section with our related media field in there, as well as all the other fields that we're used to seeing on JPEG media items. Now all you'd have to do is simply configure insert options here on media folders to switch over to the new JPEG template instead of using the default one. Right? So hopefully you find this video helpful. And as you can see, inheriting, just like in code and development, as developers, we're all familiar with this concept um, anyway. So we, we do that in code all the time. Now, all we have to do is just transfer the same mentality over into Cycle content. So if you found this video helpful, uh, please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave some comments with feedback and perhaps some ideas for future videos. And for more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com. And again, my name is Vasily Fomichev, and I'm a Sitecore Technology MVP. And I'll see you next Friday. Over and out.